Hello, hello. Welcome to R and G at the Crossroad. I am G A Cross, your co-host. And I'm Roosevelt, your other co-host. We'd like to thank you for joining our broadcast today. Um, one of the things we want to like we're going to talk about today is the importance of vision board. I don't know if it gets you guys to know what a vision board is. Um, it's just pretty pretty much a vision board could be like a whiteboard, it could be uh, a cork board, it could be sticky notes, it could be um, just something that you write. It could be the walls. Well, I do that. I don't know. I've never told you about this, Joe. I do have the walls on my walls. You know, I got the whiteboard, and I have my walls, and I, you know. I have a lot of stuff on my walls, on my white walls. I own an apartment, but I have stuff on my white walls everywhere around my apartment. A vision board to me is, helps you give clarity to your vision, first of all. And like I said, there's no standard. It's just something, it could be, like I said, a whiteboard, it could be, a cork board, it could be sticky notes, it could be anything that reminds you of what you're trying to accomplish. Absolutely. And I think that that vision board can be any tool that projects an image of how you want to see yourself in the future and how I, you want to guide yourself to that reality. So I think the importance of that vision board is to give you what you have in consciousness and bring it out into reality, something tangible uh -huh. and something like you said, to give you clarity and to help you to concentrate uh -huh. so any type of image. Um, um, I'm excited to hear about the information that you found, even about, we talked about Roosevelt talked about a, a, a actual physical board. And he's even found that they have an app for just about anything these days, but found a vision board that comes in an app format, which is I'm really excited about. So, but um, we'll hear more about that as and um, as we go along. Yeah. So, so just to just reiterate what Joe was saying, and we're going to stay on the topic of the vision board just to really ingratiate you guys on. Another aspect of self motivation. Mm -hmm. Self motivation is very important. Now, I'll tell you, when I'm doing my depression moments, it would have meant nothing to me. But at the same time, I knew that I was where I was at and I'm coming out. And sometimes, man, you know, even the Bible says, man, you, you have to. What's the exact exact words in the scripture that I made? I didn't expect to be saying you have to edify yourself. That's not the for better lack of words. It is it is our responsibility to edify ourselves. Sure, it's great to have a team around you. Absolutely, without a doubt. But sometimes you end up in the desert by yourself. When you're in a desert by yourself, trying to survive, who you depend on. It's got to be you. So it's very important with you have this internal drive mm -hmm. in a vision board, because I, I was telling Gerald earlier, hey, I, just got, I just got me a whiteboard like six months ago. And I'm learning how, you know, I start writing on everything, but it's like 24 by 24, small one. And I start but writing I, laws. I, I really think that, you know, like you were saying, it's really this vision board, what I want the audience to know, it is designed and tailor made to fit you like a suit. If you're a man, it's designed and tailored to fit you like a suit. If you're a woman, it may be designed to fit you 
like a dress or so on and so forth. Okay. Or whatever outfit or whatever, the, whatever your taste is as far as dressing, things like that. Hey, it's telling me to fit you. Right. So we also have to understand that because it's telling me to fit you, this vision board can be that light at the end of your tunnel. Like he was saying, if you feel like you, you know, you kind of like you, you, you're in a situation, you could be depressed. Uh, you, you just feel like you can't get to that next step. You can't get yourself going. That vision board can help realign yourself with your goals. It can realign yourself with you getting back on track to receiving and reaching those dreams and making those dreams to become a reality in your life. They can really help you to realign yourself. So yeah, Roosevelt, like you were saying, it could be a whiteboard. It doesn't have to be anything complicated. So I'm, I'm glad you, you brought that up. It doesn't have to be like he was saying, he has different images that he has that are tailor made to fit to motivate him to get uh -huh. going. So you have to, so you uh -huh. have to find those things, those tools to help you as well. Right. Right. You know, that's, that's a phrase of encourage yourself. However, you have to encourage yourself. That's, that's a phrase I was looking for uh, speaking earlier about a biblical verse. I don't know where it's at, but is encourage yourself. Sometimes we just got to encourage ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, because just having a vision board, no matter what it is, what type of vision board you have, just having it is not going to be the genie in the bottle. You have to be in this place in your life where you're disciplining yourself enough to write your visions and say, hey, I'm going to read these every day. I'm going to adjust them every day. I'm going to be disciplined every day. The board itself, just you putting this stuff on the board, that's not going to change anything. Ultimately, that board has to got to be your motivation. Absolutely. And you also have to be able to adjust and, and do an update because just like you are, the universe is forever changing. It's always mm -hmm. in movement. Mm -hmm. It's always moving. Things are always bumping up against things and so on and so forth. And also too, you're not going to be the same person that you were last year. And that's, I would talk to you about this yesterday. Yesterday. Right. Or, or yesterday, <laughs> because I was talking to you a little bit about this earlier and I was talking about, you know, sometimes I think, that even a journal kind of coincides with this too, because Absolutely. it helps you to track that progress. Absolutely. For example, like you can look back and say, Hey, you know, I was thinking these things and I was doing these things a year ago. And now look at me now I'm more productive. I'm mm -hmm. making a rubber hit the pavement here. Mm -hmm. And that journal is going to keep you on track. Um, it's got, it's a good accurate recording of your thought process at that particular moment and a, a good, good meter and engage for you to be able to um, see and be able to um, really analyze that progress that you have made. And then to see that progress in yourself is a, is a real instant motivator as well, because you're actually seeing growth and potential in yourself. And we've talked about this before. You have to believe in yourself before anybody else does, you know? Absolutely. And like you were saying, you got to put in the work. You can't just throw up some pictures and just think, Hey, you know, there's no, like you said, genie in the bottle where you can make a wish and so on and so forth. God helps he who helps himself. So you have to think about that yourself. Uh -huh. Aren't you more uh -huh. prone to want to help somebody that you see over there trying to pull themselves out of the hole or somebody just laying down the hole? Right. Yeah. Absolutely. So, and, yeah. And, you know, and, and sure enough, like, you know, what I said you can write down, because I do, bro. I, you know, I need to take pictures of this and send it to you. I got stuff all over my walls, you know. But those things I have on my walls, on my vision board, and just, you know, what you said, even like a journal, that's also a vision board. There's so many different ways you can have a vision board. Whatever works for you, works for you. But you got to have it. It's better to have reminders of self, of what your self goals are that's coming out of your heart, out of your mind, out of your psyche, out of your drive, 
that you write down, that you can see every day, as opposed to you talking to somebody about it. Yeah. And, and then, too, you know what? I, I, I was reading about these different things, and these different concepts, mm -hmm. as far as how the mind works and how your mind, once it sees it, if you once you get it down in front of you, then your, your mind and universe and what God has available is limitless. It's only you yourself that applies these limitations to you. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. when you put, when you do this image and you project this imagery onto your vision board as to how you want to live your life, how you project in your future. At that moment, when you begin to do that, don't wait to activate how you feel or how you will feel once you get to that place. Start to feel that way right now. Today, live in the moment. If it's that home that you want to have, if it's that car that you want, if it's that family trip you want to take or that trip that you want to take or uh, a place you want to go, anything that's on your vision board, begin to imagine how it will feel right now. So put yourself in that moment at this time so that way you are already becoming that person that you, your vision is going to be drawn to you. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. a lot of time yeah. is not necessarily what you're seeking, but what you're seeking is also seeking you. So Exactly. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 you know, it, it's ironic that you said that because do some of my research about the importance and the benefit of the business of a, of a vision board. Now, you and I are both read the laws of attraction. Yep. You know, a vision board supports the laws of attraction. It's the beginning of that support system. Mm -hmm. And of course, anybody that's listening to us that, are, that is about what we're doing have some sort of identifiable concept based on what we talk about. Yes. And the laws of attraction, ladies and gentlemen, they are systematic. They are, they, 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 they work with your consciousness and your subconsciousness. There are things that people that create that are wealthy, that just create stuff, that live free. However, what they consider their freedom is, has everything to do with laws of attraction. Yes. And if you, and like you said, if you, when you do that, when you empower you, you empower yourself, you begin to basically, you have put inside your mind that, you know what? This is no longer a dream. Mm -hmm. This is possible for me. Mm -hmm. So what happens on that day when instead of it being something that's abstract, this place that you want to go or the things that you want to accomplish in your life, and you say, these are not just dreams. This is, I'm going to make this a reality. Yeah. And I'm going to make this come to pass in my life. And I talk about this. You'll hear me talk about this a lot. I, I really think that in this life, we're on a journey. Uh -huh. I think we should create as many great moments along the way. And I think that's what we're all built for. Yeah. I think that's what we're all created for. Yeah. Well, I mean, to create those moments, um, we're planning for our future. We're learning from our past. But at uh -huh. the same time, we have to learn to live in the moment. So right. our platform is, is all about better choices, better outcomes. So we're looking to make you, if you're a man, to be a better man in your community, better husband, better leader, better mentor, better teacher, police officer, uh, business person, whatever, whatever your thing is to make you better at what you're doing so that you make a positive impact in your community and the people around you. Um, we're always excited because we're learning as we go. 
um, I talked to, to, uh, to, um, to Gil earlier today and we talked about, hey, this vision board is something that I used to have, but I am working on right now. So the things that we talk to you about are not just saying, hey, hey, we doing this, we've done it. No, we're working and growing with our audience. That's what's so exciting to me about what we're doing is that Absolutely. we are growing with our audience. That is definitely our motivation. And we talk about that all the time. You know, even though we're, we're on this platform, don't get it twisted, folks. You know, even though we have a lot of positive things going on in our life, we struggle with a lot of things. And within those things that we struggle with, those are uh, some, of the, some of the topics that we bring to you. Guys. That's right. A lot, a lot of our, a lot of our content, a lot of our subject content will probably come from uh, feedback that we get from my audience and also from some of the current things that we're working on ourselves. Right. And it just, we're excited to grow. And Absolutely. this thing of life is a journey and our whole platform, like I said, it's all about being able to It's all about being able to project these different things mm -hmm. and to be able to make those choices that we're having better outcomes. Okay. So it's, 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 it's all about having better outcomes in our life. And if you can't, if you can't bring more to your, your choices and decisions, then you're not going to make good ones. That's for sure. Right, right, right. So it's not like you're pushing anybody away, but, you know, it does say in the word of God, it says the, 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 the poor will be with you always. But we're, we're, we're in this. The reason we came together is to encourage. Absolutely. To encourage people to bring ideas and thoughts and resources together that they can spread out into various communities, whatever your community is, you know. Because one thing for certain, if you don't understand that the government's not going to help us, then this might not be for you. We got to come back together. Um, like we, 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 we said previously, you know, it takes a village to raise a child. We're trying to take a village to raise a community. Absolutely. And, 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 have, and to provide a healthy place to, to come to to get information that we're not looking to uh, have a bias or something like that on here or, or anything like that. We're all about having better outcomes, all about increasing our knowledge to get to that point. So yeah. this particular subject tonight, this vision board, I just think it just, it, it's, it, I think, what do you think? Don't you think it's kind of related? I think to it's crucial. About, yeah. Cause it's, I mean, it's crucial. Absolutely. I mean, you could talk to any successful person out there who, Anybody you think is successful or where you want to be, they just didn't show up. They do these, these, they take these steps and it takes work. It takes discipline. It takes time. It does. It takes time. And it's, it's, but the key word is discipline because that discipline means that you will stay on task. Right. That's what that means. Now, you, when you bring up that discipline, that's excellent that you brought that up because that discipline is, is the glue that brings it all together because you can have all the enthusiasm in the world. You can have all the knowledge in the world. But if you're not a to-do... And person, resources. You can have all the resources. You got resources, yeah, but you don't got the discipline. And, and one of the things, too, that I really get excited about when I, when I read or even see great interviews from successful people is the posture. Yeah. Be able to analyze yeah. and see in that person, that supreme confidence. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So a person yeah. that has supreme confidence, I can guarantee you they got some really good tools to maintain. It. They know? really do. Before we close out, it's funny that you said that because, you know, in my environment, in my complex, I don't deal with too many people. And uh, uh, not to sound arrogant or anything, you know, I'm one of the 
few males in my complex and a woman has been trying to talk to me for long as I've been here, almost two years. And I finally, one night, I come home, you know, working my little job, and I come home, and it's her birthday, she sees me come have a drink with me. I, did I share this with you? I don't think no, I no, you, no, you didn't. Oh. No, you didn't. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm waiting to see how you tie this in. I'm going to okay. tell you because after a few minutes, after a drink or two, she said, you're an arrogant asshole. And I'm like, it, no, I'm not. And she's like, well, I'm arrogant. I tell you, you can be arrogant. But for you to call me arrogant, that's a negative conversation to me. You know, I'm just a good dude. I'm just trying to help you. So, and which was the reason why I never dealt with anybody around here. So I'm trying to be a neighbor. And when she fought that aspect of arrogance, well some people some people they they don't understand the difference between arrogance and confidence they don't yeah arrogance is when a when you feel like hey i'm i'm the top of my game but you're trying to force somebody to believe it confidence is you believe in yourself and you know you're you know you're you're doing well in what you're doing and you know and, you're back. And you don't have to, you're not looking for an angle to try to convince nobody of it. You right. just, you're in your element. Right. And that comes off when people interview and different things and so on and so forth. You can see that supreme confidence or the people that tell you, like I heard Beyonce in one of her, one of her, uh, her, uh, excuse me, one of her interviews. And she said mm -hmm. that she's afraid a lot of times. Some, I mean, she's entertains fear sometimes still, even when she goes out to perform. But yeah. I yeah. thought it was awesome when she said, I feel the fear and I move forward anyway. And I'm like, wow, that's powerful that's because, key. yeah. That is, because fear is real. Yeah. It is very real. And it, and it does, and what it does is it prevents a lot of people from taking action because they've already talked themselves out before they've even taken the first step, you know? And hey, it's just like, that person that, that saw Socrates when he was away from Athens uh -huh. and he said, Hey, how does one get to Athens? How does one get to Greece? You know? And he said, by taking every step in that direction. Yeah. So it's yeah. not complicated. It's whether yeah. or not you're going to take the discipline to take those adequate steps and the first, and the journey of a million miles begins with what? The first step. And see that circles back around to a lot of our, uh, subject topics that fear does have its part in all the things that you do. But that vision board, see, man, I'm loving this. So the vision board gives you a visual that can break down those fears. Yes, it will. Because yeah. If you, once you put that vision up there, a lot of times it allows you to see past your fears because uh -huh. now you're looking directly at where you want to go without all the stumbling box, without all the fog from the negativity and so on and so forth. And when you're doing your vision board, you want to, you want to have a clear mind and so you can focus so that way you're getting up there and don't discuss with somebody sometimes what you want on your vision board. Right. Because they're talking right. you out of putting up there what is possible for you. Don't do that because yeah. then they'll want to, um, for you to only put on your vision board what's possible for them. For them. I don't need to say that again. Yeah. They will try to talk you into putting on your vision board what is possible for them and not what's possible for you. So be very careful that you do your vision board. And and it's not even better being careful. It's your vision board. Yeah. Do your don't vision board. your vision board with anybody. Right. That's right. Oh, yeah. You can. You, it's, if you do. You better be very careful. Yeah, man. You better be very careful because you got to guard that thing as far as your future and yeah. how you project and see yourself in the yeah. future. You got to be very careful. And, and you it's easy to do, especially with you younger folks. Not that I'm dogging y'all off, but it's easier for younger folk 
um, to share your enthusiasm with other young people. You ain't gonna have your back. I don't know why I threw that in your man. But yeah, because uh, but hey, it, I, hey, I'm just gonna I'm just, I'm gonna be mindful and pay close attention to the youngest and see how and see how they respond to what you said. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we all can get distracted sometimes, right? And right, sharing different information and so on and so forth. So yeah, be careful with them youngest man. They they respond pretty quick. So they do, uh, they do, and then and then of course we welcome all of that. So you know, not that I'm trying to, you know, uh, 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 what's the word I want to use? I, I ain't trying to incite anything or offend anybody, but I'm gonna be real. I know, no, no, it's, it's good. And like I said, it's all things on here for us to be better. Yeah. And, yeah. and like I said, we're all prone to different things. And uh, and that's the reason why we're doing this show to have, to make better choices and better outcomes. That's the whole nature of our platform. Absolutely. So a lot of times we had to make that decision. And as we all come to the crossroad every day, we got to make those really, really good decisions to make our life and our experience a good one. So we gotta we gotta make that decision whether or not we're gonna grow, regress, or stay the same. So, so you guys, that. we hope you come and join us on this journey of growing a community of like-minded people that aren't afraid to make decisions for the betterment of their own lives and their community. Uh, as Joe says, you know, we're in this to to make decisions. You need to make a decision or you stay the same. That's why we all believe, we believe that everybody's at a crossroad every day. So uh, you're either willing or unwilling to make a decision. So what now, what's next? Don't get stuck at the crossroad. You have to be decisive in this life. So make a decision, make it a good one and get yourself a vision board so that way you can project that image so that you can reach the places that you want to go and come on and join us absolutely join us on this journey to become more and as you become more you will have more so thank you so much for joining us and uh please uh check out our youtube channel rg the crossroad and uh, you can email us at rg the crossroad at gmail.com and visit our website at rng at the crossroad.com. Thank you so much and have a good evening. Thank you.